Hey guys, what is going on? Mr. Neil Ryan here. Quick video for you guys. I'm not going to keep much of your time. I'm going to just go into a build that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. I've been using a lot doing these escalation protocols. All we're using is uh, we're going to use bottom tree. So it's mainly surrounded by the devour perk. So uh, killing uh, kills with the melee ability fully regenerate your uh, health for a short duration afterwards. Kills restores additional health. So every time you get a melee hit, you're going to restore your health and you're going to get, um, and it's going to restore your health for a short time. Then feed the void. Consumer grenade energy regenerates your health, grants the devour effect. So every time you consume a grenade, you get the devour effect. Every kill after that, while devour is active, every time you get a kill, it resets the timer to 10. And you got 10 seconds to get another kill, get another kill, and that keeps regenerating your health. Devour is a very strong perk, which you need to utilize. Now, uh, while Devourer is active, while Devourer is active, which I already went over, kills, kill enemies dis, uh, extends its duration and recharges your gener and recharges your grenade. So let's just get right into it, man. I'm going to be using a uh, any Ecolos weapon I can. I'll explain why very shortly. You can use any primary you want, Mountaintop, with, uh, Withered Horde. Um, you can use the Ecolos SMG, Shotgun, it's up to you. Uh, seventh Seraph y, uh, VY7. As long as they have anti barrier rounds, you don't need demolitionists, but I just have it for overkill because my grenades are at 96, not at 100. And when your grenades are like 96, it's like 37 seconds versus 32 if it's maxed out. Um, you can use any other heavy you want, but who's not using the fly, falling guillotine? So I'm going to do a two part to this. This is going to be the bottom tree. The top tree is more potent. But I'm just trying to show you that it's just as strong in bottom tree with Devour. So, uh, Verity's Brow. Okay. So, energy weapon kills grants death throw. So, every time you get a kill with death throws, you get death throws one, two, three, four, five. It has a 10 second timer. Now, once you lose that death throws times five with 10 seconds, if it reaches zero, you lose death throws. It doesn't go down to four nor three. You just lose it. Uh, which provides a bonus to damage of your grenades and grants you a grenade energy. Okay. When you have death throws and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. So when you're using your grenade, man, you're even helping out your allies, the people who are in your fire team. Okay. And uh, which provides a bonus damage to your uh, damage on your grenades and grants you grenade energy. So when you throw that grenade and it's damaging an enemy, you're going to get that back. Okay. Next thing we're going to be using. I have a void um, gauntlet just so I can get grenade launcher loader. But we're going to be using power of Rasputin. So you gain bonus damage to a weapon against enemies near a war mine cell. So once that war mine cell hits, you're going to see the ground turn. Well, you see the war mine cell hit the ground. And the enemies that are around the uh, war mine sale are turning they have like this orange glow to them so they receive increased damage and i'm gonna be pairing that it should be on the legs is it on the legs hold on give me a minute no it's not that so i think it's here please excuse me i am on console so now we got Global Reach. Okay, so with Global Reach, defeating combatants with a 7th Seraph weapon has a chance to drop a War Mine Cell. Multi-copies multi do not stack. So War Mine Cells you create affect the damaged targets at a greater distance. So now with this mod on, the whole room becomes, gets that whole glow on them from the War Mine Cell. So the whole room, the whole room can take increased damage. Okay. Now, I do have a few other things on that helps me out since I'm using a uh, grenade launcher. Um, I have extra reserves. And you can see what extra reserves. While charged with light, defeating a combatant uh, with void damage grants a chance to drop special ammo. So you're going to be getting your grenade pretty fast. If you use your sword or your grenades, you're going to get special ammo. Uh, the, effects, the effects consumes all stacks of charge with light. The more stacks you have the higher chance you have to uh, of gaining ammo drop. You can see I have uh, overload rounds, which disrupts champions. 
And then I have Breach Resignator, which Breach Resignator gives with anti-piercing rounds on a submachine gun or an auto rifle, you get energy towards your melee ability and grenade energy. So it's like a synergy class. Okay. And of course, I have a discipline mod. Then I have on this quick charge. And quick charge become charged with light by rapidly defeating combatants with pulse rifles, sud arms, side arms, and submachine guns. Now that secondary perk that you see in the blue, defeating combatants with the pulse rifle grabs a chance to drop special ammo for your allies. I have it on because I'm using a sword. Like I said, who isn't using a sword? Okay. And you should probably guess what the Warlock Bond's gonna have on it. Warlock Bond has, of course, the global reach, but I have oppressive darkness causing damage before grenades has a chance. Uh, adds a weakened effect to combatants, and I have a discipline mod. And that's pretty much the build, guys. So let's just get into it. You can see what it does. You can add to it, take away from it, switch it up. But this is kind of like the basic thing I've been running. Um, I run the same thing, Verity's Brow, with the top class, which, <coughs> excuse me, I'll add a uh, second part to that. I'll add another video. I'll do another video on that. But we're going to consume the grenade, get Devour. And you can see Devour is now 10. Every time you get a kill, you're going to get 10. Now with the War Mind Cell, it should pop out. Just imagine you got to gain experience to get the War Mind Cell. Okay. You can see he has an added effect to him. He's orange. So three three red bars, you might as well say, give you a War Mind Cell. Major and one red bar, I'll give you another War Mind Cell. That's literally how it works. Okay. Now I'm going to throw this grenade. And charge with light. It'll give me some special. Any, any void damage. When you see that charge of light going, that means you got some special. I haven't got any yet. I still have my devour. But I got to get this death throws up for this major. Death row times four times five. Let's get it. I'm going to try to kill these dummies as quick as possible so death row stays on. See, now he has the weakened effect. It's that simple, guys. That simple. You're going to get your grenades pretty quick. The demolitionist, anti barrier round. Let's see, there's the. There is the green, um, excuse me. I should have turned this daggone phone off and it's my dumb ass brother. Boy, he calls it the wrong times, man. But as you can see, that war mine cell is still active. It's orange. And as you can see, when you get special ammo, it'll have that green ore to it. You see that green ore? That means it came from the uh, charge with like the uh, added reserves. But I haven't been using my grenade launcher, but it does help you keep your special ammo. So uh, that's pretty much the build, guys. Um, I'll go over it. Not really go over it, but I'll just show you. Uh, it's Bottom Tree Void Walker. Any, it really, weather, Weathered Horde works just as good. But I'm going to keep using the mountaintop till they take it from me, which will be next DLC. Uh, any Ecolos weapon with anti-barrier rounds. You don't need demolitionists, but it helps. Um, uh, Verity's Brow. Um, and here's the perks, y'all. All right, guys. Mr. Neo Ryan out. Deuces.